Hello guys, last time we ended up with this scene over here. Now I'm going to show you how to make a push block. First off, go to your resources folder and drag this tile over here. This will be our push block, our block that we can drag to two switches or two buttons so that they go active. And um, of course, you're going to have to edit a physics to the box collider, and also edit edit add a physics to the rigid body to the. And right now, let's see if it's interactable. It is, but as you can see, the player can also can really easily move it around. It's really light, so we're going to change its mass. Say, let's see to ten if if it works. Now I'm going to actually change this fixed angle to to true to active, but if you don't want to, it's fine. It's not really needed, but anyways, we need to make it. Okay, now as you can see, it has it's a little bit a little bit harder to to move around. All you have to do is, but it still has some. It slides very easily, so we need to make it have some friction. So create. Click on our project folder over here, create physics 2D material, and click on our sprite and drag it to our collider. Now this mat of course name this material to say push block, push block, and we're going to make its friction from 0 0.4 to 1, so that if our player is not interacting with it, it will stop automatically and quickly. Okay, let me see if one is not the maximum. Whoa, now it doesn't even move. Okay, so we're going to change, change that to 10. I think 10 is okay because it makes our player make some effort to move it and it, it won't just go slide away when we just stop pushing it away. And I think that's it for today guys, see you in the next tutorial.